Hello viewers, this is Paladin of Odin, and this is some more Magic the Gathering Online. This is another episode of the Standard Commentary Series, and it looks like we've got a Red Deck Wind's Mirror. Oh no, he's playing Red and Black. So, three mana. Four, complete disregard on Zergo Bellstriker. Leaves the Lightning Berserker. He did Fiery Impulse a Monastery Swift Spear, probably on turn one. Call of the Full Moon on the Berserker. And then Fire Breathes him for one, puts him up to a 5-3. Now, I've been seeing Call of the Full Moon a lot more lately in uh, Red Deck Wins. I heard a lot of talk, probably three months ago, about how cards like this were terrible and how you shouldn't use them. But fact is, in red aggressive decks, I mean, plus two toughness is kind of a big deal. It means that they have to have spell mastery on Fiery Impulse to kill your one toughness guys. It means that Wild Slash doesn't work on them anymore. And then on top of that, Red Deck Wins expects their creatures to die. So losing an enchantment on a creature when they're being able to throw that creature at you multiple times and it actually being threatening, like right now, he has a Thunderbreak Regent, which normally, when you've got an Abbot that can't attack and a Lightning Berserker, say, without the call of the full moon on it, you'd sit back and wait. Here, he can attack in. Which he does. Forcing him to block. And I'd say that is a good trade. Big deal. He lost a Lightning Berserker and a two-cost enchantment. He got rid of a Thunderbreak Regent, which is a really good card. And Complete Disregard gets rid of the Abbot. And then one drop for the Blood Soaked Champion. So, while my take on the Lightning Berserker with the Call of the Full Moon may be controversial, you may not agree with it, you know, he's on 12 already. And all he has to show for it is a Blood Soaked Champion. He dashes Zergo Bell Striker. Throws down Titan Strength, since why not right now? The guy is tapped out, so he can't respond. He scries the card and puts it on bottom. Attacks in with the 5-3 and no block, so he takes 5 and goes down to 7. That's kind of a risky move, but then again, we know one of the two cards that is in his hand, and it's Zergo. Forerunner of Slaughter, and he doesn't taste it to attack. I don't know if he meant to do that or not. He's attacking with the Blood Soak Champion? Yes, he is. Attacking in for two. At least this way, he has a 3 2, so that he could chump block another crazy Zergo attack. Okay, so he has Lightning Berserker and Zergo. He's dashing Lightning Berserker here. Four mana. He could make her a 5-1. Dashing Zergo. So now the Lightning Berserker can only get up to a 3-1. So now you have to make the choice of which one to block. And he goes for the Lightning Berserker, knowing that it could be 3 damage versus 2. So he'll take the 2 damage... Berserker gets fire breathed up enough to kill the Forerunner of Slaughter. Zergo bounces back to his hand. And he's on five life. And he's only on two cards. And he plays a Zergo. Attacking with Blood Soaked Champion. Now, this is a really interesting situation because. Zergo can't block a creature with power 2 or greater, so he can't block himself. Bloodsoak Champion can't block, period. So Zergo is going to be getting in for free. 
regardless. So he dashes Zergo to protect him, because he could have a burn spell in it, you know, at some time. You know, he could draw it in his next turn. So this way, he has a limited window to be able to try and kill it. But at the moment, Zergo is a guaranteed two damage on five life. You know, that's pretty threatening. He's on a... After this, he's got two turns to either throw out a blocker that can block Zergo or find a way to kill Zergo. Which shouldn't be hard. He's running red and black. Wild Slash, Fiery Impulse, Ruinous uh, Path, uh, Murderous Cut, um, Ultimate Price. He's got plenty of options. But he gets a Forerunner of Slaughter in play, which is a good enough blocker. Attacks in with his pair of two power creatures for four damage. And this is actually really close. The red deck really needs a boost here. Ooh, and back to that Lightning Berserker Zergo thing. Forerunner has to block the Lightning Berserker because the Berserker is lethal if it gets through. So Zergo will get through for another two damage and put him on one. This uh, red deck is so close to winning here. And he has plenty of ways to finish it. If he draws a Wild Slash, it's over. If he pulls another Lightning Berserker, it's over. Uh, Swift Spear wouldn't be good enough. Uh, Goblin Heal Cutter would do it too. Attacking in with the two guys that can't block. Four more damage. Takes him down to eight. And here comes the top deck. Did it win him the game? Is he dashing Zergo again? Fiery Impulse to kill Drana. Dash Zergo. And unless he has a burn spell in his hand right now, that's the game. And wow! That came down to the slimmest of margins. Well, it could have been slimmer margins, but you get what I mean. That was amazing how close that was. At any one time, the red deck, if it hadn't drawn the card that it had drawn, that game would have gone the other way entirely. But that match lasted longer than I expected, and the second game is going to push this video probably into the 12 to 15 minute mark. So I'm going to end the video there, so it'll be a shorter video. Uh, that was Red Deck Wins versus Rakdos Aggro, and if you liked what you saw, hit that like and subscribe button for me, and I'll see you in the next video.